Hello and welcome to Ocean Academe Pre-Cal 11. Today we're going to be discussing factoring. Let's launch right into our problem. Solve 3x squared minus 7x minus 20 equals 0 by factoring. First thing we want to do is look at that minus 7x. What we want to do is replace it. So how we do that is we look at our 3 and our 20 and we say, okay, well, 3 times 20 is 60. And that, another way of looking that, at that is 12 times 5. And you can see with the 12 and the 5, we can manipulate those two numbers in order to get a minus 7. So that's our clue. So 3x squared, if we say minus 12x plus 5x minus 20 equals 0, we have, in fact, replaced our minus 7x with minus 12x plus 5x. So we haven't changed anything in the equation. The next thing to do is separate these into two different things here. So what I would usually do is I put in brackets, just to have it a little bit clearer. Now I factor. I'm going to pull out the 3x, and that leaves me with x minus 4 and then plus, and with this one, I'm going to pull out the 5, and I'm left with x minus 4 equals 0. From here, I can factor further, and I can say 3x plus 5. I can pull this and this, and I'm left with x minus 4. These are the same, so I just have to put them once. Equals 0. Now, in order to solve for x, I have to put what's in this bracket uh, equal to each other. So that's going to be 3x equals minus 5, because the 5 crosses over to the other side and changes signs. That leaves me with my x equal to minus 5 thirds. If I do the same thing to the second set of brackets, I get 4, because x will equal Four with that minus 4 changes to the other side and therefore changes signs. So I've determined then that x equals minus 5 thirds and also equals 4. And that's how you solve by factoring.